What did I learn from Banjo Kazooie? What did I learn in Banjo Kazooie? What did I learn in Banjo Kazooie? Collect fucking everything! When you go outside and start on an adventure, regardless of what you're doing, you're gonna meet people. Everybody, or at least the vast majority of people. Most of them will be interesting. Or stupid. And very few of them will help you out of the goodness of their hearts. You need everything in that game! Now hear me out. So you've got Banjo. Oh, did you want to go to the final level? A little naive, he's optimistic about the world, but he's not dumb. Uh, d did you get every note in every level? Nope. He can solve his problems. You have his, uh, life partner, as I call it, Kazooie, but you can't do it. The moral of that story was, who is snarky and kind of cynical because she knows a lot about the world? A lot of people will want something in return. But everyone else is just, like, mentally impaired. Oftentimes, it's something stupid that they could do themselves. I think it's a good standard of how the world is. You can't really help that. The attention to detail that you had to have in Banjo-Kazooie in order to actually beat the game was ridiculous. I mean, be it somebody who just doesn't know how to swim. There's children swimming in radioactive water because of waste dump, growing extra arms and stuff that won't leave until you change the temperature of the water some stupid shit like that. Men refuses to swim to get something. Don't even understand to leave water for their own health. And that taught me in future games, don't you miss that shit, don't say. Or somebody who's just plain stupid and too dumb to realize he could do this himself. Hey, you know what? I'll come back for that. It's no big deal. Now you get that shit now. You have Mumbo the Witch Doctor who, you get that shit now and you beat the fucking game. Not only Seems like he has no idea what he's doing when he's changing you into stuff, and just lucks into you being kind of useful. Overall, you'll have to help someone out sooner or later. But one time even tries to eat you, after turning you into a pumpkin. Do you want to? Most likely not. Don't get me wrong, I don't claim to be the brightest guy either. Should you? Maybe. But I don't think I would want to eat a pumpkin that was just both a bear and a bird. Do you have to because your sister's in peril or a witch killed your best friend? That uh, might be a good meat pie coming along, but... Obviously. There might be fur. I have no idea what its insides are like. You know, I could say it was about teamwork and everybody else who ever asked us for anything. It's something that, like they could walk five feet and solve the problem. People are just stupid. And it was about persevering to find your little sister. Except for that one bear and that one bird. Fuck that! I'm just saying... Maybe Banjo and Kazooie's missions would have been a lot faster. It was about collecting everything. That's what that game was about. If everybody was a little bit smarter and they could just get to the end of the game quicker. It's collecting everything to make sure all the little pieces of the puzzles fit together in the end. Help morons. It'll make you feel better about you. So you could take down that evil bit. And that is what I have learned from Banjo Kazooie. That's what I learned in Banjo Kazooie. That's what I learned. Hey, I'm The Metal. Thanks for watching the video, and maybe check out a couple others while you're here. Uh, we'll see you next week with even weirder stuff. Bye. You know, Banjo-Kazooie was awesome. It was like... It was one of those games where you had two people, but it was really one person at the same time because Banjo really was the headlining person. Kazooie was just and Kazooie. You know, it wasn't Kazooie and Banjo, it was Banjo and Kazooie. But Kazooie really did help you out a lot because there was a lot of things you could not do without Kazooie. Like running up the, uh, the slopes that were just too, a little bit too slippery for Banjo there.